Hi there, I'm Robin. I'm here with Zen Audio, and today we're going to take a look at the Preferences pane. Now, the Preferences, which we can access from the top menu here, is where we can globally choose our hardware inputs and outputs, add MIDI controllers, um, scan for new plugins, and much more. You can also open the Preferences by using the keyboard command, command and comma. So going from the top, um, we'll start on the audio section. And in our input section, uh, we can choose our hardware input device. So I've got my built-in mic here and some other options. And right here is my audio interface where this microphone is plugged in. And then we can also go down here and choose the inputs that we'd like to appear in ALK. So maybe if I don't want some inputs to appear, I can just give them an, an untick and click apply. And I can also rename these inputs, so maybe I want to call this one here Microphone. And it's really nice to rename these inputs and outputs in ALK, because when you rename an input, if you assign a track uh, to have that hardware input, it actually renames the track. So you could have one for guitar, one for microphone, one for Steve's vocals, one for analog synth, and so on. And again, when you've made all the edits to these names, you just click apply and it's quite easy to restore the names as well so if we just press restore then we get all the original names coming down to the output section um, right now I've chosen my built-in output um, but I can also choose the output of the interface if I want to or any other but I can also choose the output of the interface if I want to um, and I can also choose any other hardware outputs that I've got connected again I can rename things so I'll just call this one output and apply um, just to test that the audio is actually working, I can generate a test tone. And I can restore the names as well. Now down here is the buffer size. And what the buffer size is, is the amount of time that we allow the computer to process what's going on in ALK. Generally, you'll want to set this as low as possible. Anywhere between 128 and um, 512 is generally okay. Um, beyond that, you start to really feel like there's a delay in playing. You get more latency. But then also, if you go too low, um, there may be too much processing going on in ALK if you've got a lot of plugins and a lot of tracks, and you may get some stuttering sounds. So basically what you need to do is set the buffer size to somewhere that feels comfortable, maybe start at 128, and then as your session gets bigger, just keep an eye on the CPU down here. Um, and if it starts to stutter, then you can begin to higher the buffer size. So moving over to MIDI, um, we, we have a list of MIDI devices that are currently connected. And if I plug in a MIDI keyboard or some MIDI drum pads, then that's also going to appear here as well. Again, I can easily rename these, so I'm going to call this MIDI in 1. I can also just restore the names as well. And if I don't want these to appear in ALK, then I can just untick them. Moving down to the plugins section, here are our default uh, directories uh, where ALK looks for plugins. If you want to add a custom directory, then you can do it here with the plus button. And then you can go ahead and remove that with the minus. And then you can restore the defaults here. You can move the priority of these directories up and down. And down here, we have a list of all the currently scanned plugins in ALK. And if you've just installed some plugins and they're not showing up in ALK, just go down to here and click rescan. Just for the sake of demonstration, I'm just going to clear my plugin database and do a rescan. And you'll see that we have this dialog here that's now scanning for plugins. Okay, thanks for watching. Um, there'll be plenty more to come soon and we'll see you next time.